In today's video, we're going to be hotboxing the lab using my homemade smoke machine. Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this uh, somewhat different video, we'll be taking a look at this. This, believe it or not, is um, a smoke machine I've built. Um, a very, very crude looking smoke machine, but it does work. Now, you may be wondering, was I just sitting around one day bored thinking, hmm, what should I make? And then decided, I know, let's fill the room with smoke. No, that's certainly not what happened. Um, I have a massive list over there, full of projects, uh, planned almost years ahead of things to do, a lot more educational and uh, a lot more sophisticated than a smoke machine, let's just say. But um, I actually needed to make this for another project, so this actually turned out being a project for another project. That project is the MIDI controlled laser piano, which I have mentioned before in a few other videos, but not very often. Um, again, that was actually a project I started nearly two years ago now, but I just, again, never got around to finish it because the lab build took over and all projects were halted when the lab was being built because there's no point carrying it on if in a few months' time I'll have this facility to finish everything off in. And plus, we needed to uh, actually be here to manually help with the lab builds, which is moving the soil and doing the electronics cabinet, stuff like that, which you can see in the lab build videos uploaded previously if you want to go ahead and watch those. So um, I've just finished that now since it's been summer and I've had lots of time off um, and I've been working on all sorts of stuff. So the MIDI controlled laser piano is going to be the subject of a whole host of videos coming out hopefully this week, um, very shortly after this video is uploaded, because it looks really, really cool. Is exactly what it sounds like, a crazy laser show controlled by musical notes. Um, but suffice to say, the lasers aren't that powerful, um, because I had to buy a lot of them, 88 to be precise. Uh, so they're only small, cheap things, but they do work, they are lasers. The problem is that they're a little bit dim in terms of actually seeing the beam, and seeing the beam is what's cool. So I thought, well, you know, in concerts and shows and things, the way they get lasers to perform optimally is by having smoke because then the laser hits the smoke and scatters off and you can see the beam. So I was like, well it's simple to make the effect of the laser piano optimum, we'll just use some smoke. Now the first of all just buying a smoke machine, but you know they're kind of expensive and you have to buy dry ice and everything and refill it. Um, and it wasn't really worth the effort considering the only use for a smoke machine is pretty much the, the laser piano over here. So it seemed like a bit of a waste of an investment. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I just build one? <laughs> so that is what we have here. Now, the idea, the, the principle of operation behind this came to me from one of these. A vape, an electronic cigarette. They work by vaporizing one of two, or, or sometimes both in some cases, of these chemicals. Propylene glycol and slash or vegetable glycerin. And these chemicals are used because when they're heated up, when they're boiled or evaporated, they produce a lot of smoke. And you can see that if you put some of it near a heating element or uh, just heat it up in a pan or whatever, such as um, a soldering iron or anything like that, you can see that it gives off a lot of smoke. So these are used as the base layer to create smoke. And then obviously other flavorings and stuff like that are added afterwards. But the idea is that when these are evaporated, they produce a lot of smoke, which is exactly what I want. So I thought, why not just take that idea and scale it up? And hence we have this. Um, so it's actually very, very simple and very, very crude. I didn't build this to be anything to look at. That's why all the cablings are a mess and everything. Uh, it's just supposed to work. It's just supposed to function. Because like I said, it's a project for another project. Um, it's not really supposed to be used on its own. So it works very simply. In here we have the chamber, which you just fill with the liquid. Now, propylene glycerol or vegetable glycerin are actually very easy to obtain. I'm using vegetable glycerin in this case. I mean, you can buy glycerin from um, the, the cake section in most supermarkets, to be honest. It's really cheap. It's used in, it's food grade, you can consume it. Um, it's, it's a bit like food coloring, you're not really supposed to drink it or anything like that. But it's, you know, it's used in all sorts of things, but vapes are just one example. 
Um, so you can get that in, you know, by the gallons online. Um, and the great thing is it lasts for ages because a small bit of it has your seam, evaporates to create a lot of smoke. So you can fill this up, but that level where it's at is pretty much fine. That'll last a long time. Um, inside here, you probably can't see too well, uh, is a coil of wire that goes down and into the liquid. It's actually submerged inside it and back up and comes through the wood via two screws. This is a heating element. It's actually a bit of nichrome wire from a microwave oven. Uh, it's the same stuff they use in toasters, like the metal that glows inside that actually heats it up. It's called nichrome. It's a very low resistance wire um, made of nickel and chromium, but it's um, the perfect heating element and you can get them out of all sorts of uh, old electronic devices. So I had a load of those, a uh, load of that cable left, so I decided to use it for this. And then those two screws are just connected straight to the mains AC power on this plug here. Now, we have a little bit of piping here for airflow. So we have air coming in through this one. There's nothing connected there, it's just the open air. It goes into the chamber, then this one, the air comes out into this section here. And the idea of this section here is that it's supposed to basically be um, a very crude, simple pump because you've got the smoke being produced here but you need to suck it out and then make sure it gets distributed throughout the room. So in here is just a fan with the blowing direction there, which means there's a bit of a pressure difference, so it'll suck the smoke that's created through this tube. Really, really small suction, it's not very powerful, you can't even feel that, but you can see the smoke flow through the system, so it does work. Um, and that is literally about it. This plug is for the fan inside the, this section here, that's the cabling for it, and that's all there is. That's all there is to it. So you just plug it in with this, tap the fan on, plug this in to have the heating on it, and um, off it goes, it will do, it th it'll do its thing. Uh, and then to refill it, you can just unscrew this section or take the pipe out and pour the liquid in. I have a nice big jar of it. So um, that will last me for many, many runs of the machine, which you'll see in later videos. Um, the only one complication to this is that this heating element draws a hell of a lot of current. Uh, if you were to just plug that directly into a wall socket, it would probably trip the breaker. And um, not to mention, the smoke machine would explode. Uh, I know that for a fact because that's what happened to the first iteration of this. Um, hence why we have a method of controlling the current now, i.e. the Big Variac. Now, the Big Variac um, is its primary, its primary use is for Project Exodus. It's the main power supply for it. However, because Exodus is um, tucked away in the corner right now, not being used, I really just use this as a general purpose AC power supply. Uh, it's a 15 amp Variac, so I can put anything through it and it will fine. So I actually plug this to the output of the Variac and the input of the Variac just goes straight to a wall socket and they can use that to vary the current. It's a bit of a shame because it doesn't make this portable because we have to have this Variac for it and I did not feel like spending a lot of money to get like a 3 amp Variac for the, just for a smoke machine because that's a waste of money really. So I might as well just reuse that one. So anyway, that you'll see that in operation in a moment. So. Since this video I won't be showing the laser piano, that's going to be the focus of the future videos, all I'm going to do is hotbox the lab today. So we're just going to basically turn it on and see how long it takes to pretty much fill the room. Um, one thing you will note is, uh, I know this, this looks all black and horrible and gunky and um, that's, not what plug, <laughs> that's not what vegetable glycerin looks like. Um, vegetable glycerin is just a clear white liquid with a sweet taste. Um, what's happened here is that some of the earlier runs, the system was running at a higher current, got too hot and actually the ends of these pipes did melt and drip into the container and that's why it looks all black and horrible. But I might replace this with a new one at some point because it is supposed to be clear and clean and you don't really want the smell of burning plastic, you just want some nice smoke. Because the other thing about propylene glycerol and vegetable glycerin is that it's perfectly safe to breathe in, it doesn't make you choke or anything and um, the only downside to this smoke machine compared to an actual one is a it's not like it's a bit it's a bit passive you don't get a massive blast of smoke like you do from a normal smoke machine uh, it takes a bit of time but in about five minutes you can easily fill the whole room as you'll see in a moment and b um, it does irritate your eyes just a little bit um, not too much but um, if you if, if the room's fairly dense with smoke it will uh, it'll mess with your eyes a bit but it's fine it's no permanent damage it's just some minor so anyway, let's plug this in and see what it can do. Okay, so I have everything set up here, all plugged in. Now we'll start off by turning on the fan. 
Okay, and now I'll turn on power to the heating element and you'll see it start to glow. I'm going to apply about 2 amps, because any more than that, it will um, start to get a bit too hot and uh, could explode again. And as you can see, smoke is already starting to appear, because that gets very hot very fast. And so this is what I mean by it being more of a passive smoke machine than, you know, like a big jet of smoke. Because as you can see from the video, there is smoke coming out, but it is fairly difficult to see. But it is there, definitely, and it's coming out quite fast. And it will slowly start to fill all the room. So I'll get back to you in about two or three minutes and show you the status. And as you can see, that's the heating element right there, slowly vaping away. <laughs> You can actually see it a lot better now. <laughs> don't know if that's just because I heated up more. But there you go. Certainly see it's definitely working. Won't take long now. Okay, so I've had it on for about five minutes. And as you can see, there's already a large amount of smoke building up. Nothing major, major. So as you can see, uh, it's fairly smoky in here. It's been about another five minutes. I've turned it down significantly just because it was actually getting a bit too hot, I think. So you shouldn't really run it for any more than five minutes at two amps anyway. Um, it was making some sounds. Uh, there were flames building inside the chamber. Um, I think there was a bit of pressure in there, so... Uh, it's all under control now, though. It's all okay. Um, in the name of science, uh, my eyes are definitely really starting to be irritated now from this. Um, when I run the uh, the laser piano, it doesn't need this much smoke anyway. This is plenty to seal the lasers. Um, but at least it has a nice sweet smell, though. at least you can say that. Um, but my eyes, I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> so, because yeah, it's not supposed to be at this level. But yeah, I've turned it down. Um, it's still producing smoke, you can sort of see. Well, it's not great on camera, but um, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's not great on camera, but suffice to say, there is definitely it's very smoky in here. Uh, Just to give you a preview of um, exactly how smoky it is in here, I will show you a laser by first turning these lights off. This is my blue laser. Um, I haven't done any videos on this on this channel. I did have one a long time ago on my other channel. Uh, so I built this a while ago, but as you can see, you can clearly see the beam. Now this is a 1 watt laser, so you can see the beam anyway, but um, you can see it absolutely 100% perfectly clear now that there is smoke in here. So the lasers for the laser keyboard are, you know, like a what, 500 times weaker than this, but they're still, you can still completely see the beam. Uh, and there's 88 of them, so look forward to those videos. Okay, I've had to turn it off now because I'm literally, my eyes are killing me here. Um, I know it doesn't look like that much on the camera, but when you're standing right in front of the fan and it's like blasting out, uh, it is uh, pretty irritating, to say the least. And just to show you, when I open the door, you can actually see <laughs> all the smoke pouring out. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, really, it's funny, it doesn't look like there's that much on camera, but like, <laughs> there definitely, definitely is. Um, and I have had it, I have had it more than this. Um, it's a shame, because I don't want to blow it up, I don't want to run it for much longer, but I have had it where it was like proper thick, because it hadn't diffused properly, it was almost all concentrated in one place. But, um, yeah, you get the gist of it anyway. And that's going to keep going for a while, because I've done this before, I've had to drain the room of smoke every time I run the piano, so, uh, yeah. Ah, so that was the smoke machine, I hope you all enjoyed. You're going to see the full effect of this in uh, some of the upcoming videos, when you actually see the laser piano in action, and you can see how useful the smoke machine actually is, because you then you can see the beams of all 88 lasers. And hopefully I should have those videos out within the next couple of days, so look forward to those. I'm going to go and take a, an eye bath now. See you in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.